<laughs> the heartbreaker over here with his, his multiple ex-girlfriends. <laughs> I want to talk a bit about one particular song, the song that's been released as a single and that's re doing really well on Money Free Grabber. FM, Money Grabber. Yeah. Right. Um, wh where and where, where and when were you when you wrote that? Uh, at uh, the home, at, at, at my house, uh, in the studio. Uh, you know, I always come from a place of writing a, a keyboard part at first. Uh, with, and I'm humming something that's coming from deep within. I'm not even sure what the words might or might not be. Um, and I wasn't sure about the chorus of that song, and it was only once Noel sang it with me, because we sing in tandem, and she sings a very high part, and I sing it down here. And it was only until she came and sang it with me that I, I was like, this, I, I, this, is, this is it, I believe it. You know, and we actually, we could tell that that song was something special because we had been playing it in concerts before the record was finished. Um, but we originally had another bridge entirely to yeah, the song. Yeah, it was completely different song. Uh, that just didn't feel like it lived up to the same level as the other song. And we tried, I think, three or four different versions of the, the, the bridge till we finally came down with that countdown part. And as soon as we had that, then the whole song just felt complete and like we could... Uh, we could put it on the record. Yeah, that's a rather classic thing, that count, that counting. Yeah, yeah. It kind of, it's funny because when we were doing it, I was like, that sounds just like the Jackson 5. Like, <laughs> like it has that like kind of like A, B, C, kind of like one, two. So that was, you know, like I was like, okay, it'll work. It, it'll, it'll go, he's like, trust me, it's gonna work, it's gonna work. I was like, okay. We do it and every time and we do it we live, now live, everybody everyone sings Everyone goes it. crazy. Yeah. It's fun. So counting is good. <laughs> we like counting. <laughs> we like counting. Uh, what, what, what is the exact definition of a money grabber? Uh, well, this was, uh, you know, uh, in hip hop, gold digger. Gold digger. Somebody you know, I mean, that's, it's just you know, that harsh moment when you, uh, you're you with somebody and you think it's for love and you wake up one day to find out that they have... Your pockets have, are empty. Yeah, that there's a different <laughs> sort of maybe plan in store for the other person. You're and in then, debt. <laughs> and this was something that we didn't anticipate with it, but once the record came out, given the economic turmoil that we're having and the greed of banks and stock market and all this cra crazy economic things that are happening and the amount of greed, I think people also have adopted it as a, as a mantra against greed in, in government, in the bank system, and, and it's ha taken on this larger meaning. Which was never the plan. No, that was, was never. It was plan, all yeah. about a, a personal moment, but it, it has become more universal than that. And who is the person you are waving goodbye? Oh, well, she knows who she is. <laughs> You can't she's say the, her name on television. She's the organ lady as well. Uh, no, that was actually <laughs> Somebody another else. one that I'm actually friends the with The heartbreaker now. over here with his, his multiple ex-girlfriends. <laughs> um, she knows. The she was actually, we were out. in New York and she was, she had heard that we were coming and I hadn't spoken to her in a while and she uh, texted me and said, can I come to the show? And then I think she actually took time to go listen to the music and then I got a text that said, uh, I'm not, it's I'm too not painful, coming. I'm not coming. And I was like, okay. So she knew. Yeah, she, she knew, knew when her. she heard that song, she knew. But what, did you tell her it was about her? No, but she knew. Okay. She, she knew. knew. Can you already pinpoint what that, that song has done for you so far? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's you know, it's, it's created a lot of momentum, especially in the States. Uh, for us, I never thought we would receive a lot of attention on radio because radio is quite difficult in the States. It's not as open as it is uh, overseas. And uh, we were actually able to get a lot of radio stations behind playing the song. We've been climbing the charts there. Um, it's got a kind of infectious vibe to it. You know, it's like most people that had heard it maybe once could remember the melody. and. You know, it's just, it's one of those songs, and it's not to say, like, a lot of our songs have that, you know, kind Quality, of thing yeah. about them. Um, but this one, for instance, you know how every band has at least, you know, one or two up their sleeve, hopefully. This has been the one so far.